In this module, we will discuss about linkage, linkage analysis and chromosome mapping in Drosophila. Linkage is defined as the genes which are located on the same chromosomes and they inherit together due, during meiosis and from one generation to another generation. This phenomenon is called linkage. Now this linkage can be proved with the help of an experiment with Drosophila. Now here we have done one experiment with two linked gene, vestigial that is short wing, vestigial and black that is black body color and vestigial wing that is short wing against the normal or wild type that is the long wing and gray body color. So, here in this cross, that is the female, wild type female, long wings, gray body is crossed with vestigial wings, black body, which is a mutant, male. In the F1 generation, we obtained long wings, gray body, that is here wild type that is long wings and gray body color are dominant over the mutant vestigial wing and black body. Now this long wings gray body female of F1 generation is test crossed with double recessive vestigial wings black body. So in the F2 generation, we obtained long wings, gray body, then vestigial wings, black body. These are two parental types, while there are also two recombinant types we obtained. One is vestigial wings, gray body and long wings black body. So there are two parental types and two recombinant types we obtained in the F2 generation. Now the frequency or the number of these individuals or flies as per our data shows that is the long wings gray body we obtain the parental types 432. On the other hand, the two recombinant types, one is vestigial wings, gray body, another is long wings, black body. We obtain 72 and 78, that is vestigial wings, gray body 72, long wings, black body 78. Another parental types, we obtain 418, that is vestigial wings, black body. So in this data, it shows that parental types are higher in number than recombinant types. Total recombinants is 150, there are 150 recombinants and 850 parentals. Now from this data, we can calculate the frequency of recombinations. Now here frequency of recombination is found to be 0.15 frequency of recombinations. Now the frequency of recombinations 0.15 that is it is about 15 percent which is less than 50 percent. 
So, if the recombination is less than 50%, so it indicates that there are the genes are linked. That is, if the, I can repeat that if the, your recombination frequency is less than 50%, then we can say that is the two genes are linked. And if it is more than 50%, then genes are not linked. So here, parental types are there, long wings, gray body, and vestigial wings, black body. And recombinant types, which is 0.15 or 15%. And from this frequency, it indicates that two genes, uh, that is, black body and short or vestigial wings are linked. Now, from this data of the test cross, we can draw a chromosome map that is here, that is two point cross and we can do a genetic map out of this data. Now, map distance could be calculated on the basis of the recombination frequency which we obtain. So, map distance now, this unit is represent, uh, represented by centimorgan. The centimorgan or CM, this is uh, map distance unit. Now, one morgan is equal to 100 centimorgan. Now, this morgan unit is after the name of a famous scientist, T.H. Morgan, who did pioneering experiment on linkage in Drosophila. So, one Morgan equal to 100 centimorgan. So, we can convert the 0.15 into from Morgan to your centimorgan. That is 0.15 Morgan or we can also tell that is the 15 centimorgan. Now, the distance between vestigial and black is 15 centimorgan. So, this is the genetic distance between these two limb genes. So, recombination frequency is the measure of genetic distance between or the distance between two genes. Now, in the conclusion, we can say that is recombination occur as a result of crossing over between the two chromosomes and as a result of these recombinations that is a the genes are interchange change their positions and if the genes are linked then they will pass on to the next generations so this is the phenomenon of linkage now here we will also provide the module summary, then books for further reading is there, then there is a quizzes on this module. Moreover, if you have any question, please feel free to ask us. Thank you for your participation in our online course.